Alrighty, this is a video on RB26's cracking. Um, where they like to crack, why they like to crack, and uh, the things we do to prevent and fix them when they do crack. Uh, we're gonna go into different horsepower levels, uh, solutions, um, things to look out for, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, the, the whole, whole idea is gonna be just uh, helping people make stronger, more reliable motors, the way we do it. Okay, so let's talk about the cracks. Crack number one is usually gonna be this guy, um, right above your oil feed. Uh, this is because the casting's very thin, and um, if these engines had bad maintenance, uh, they got rusty inside, it gets thinner and thinner and thinner, and then that will eventually uh, break if the block ever sees any twists or anything like that. Um, crack number two is gonna be your deck cracks. That's usually gonna be right where your hardware hole is, um, leading to one of the coolant passageways, very common. Uh, and then the big boy crack is going to be you actually split the bore. Uh, that virtually is only going to happen with uh, very uh, big horsepower engines or if you bore this out to some wacky number. Uh, we will not uh, build any engines past 87 mil because of that. Uh, but here, here's the solution to all that. The solution is simple. Uh, this is a half filled with grout. Um, so uh, if that's going to focus, let's see. Yes, there it is. So that is our grout line represented by this little yellow marker here. Um, so. All of this in the block is filled with grout. And because of that now, this crack physically can't happen because it is completely sealed from the inside. Uh, you have now added more meat to where the hardware bites. Uh, so now it's a lot more, it, puts, it takes off a lot of strain from the deck. And the typical common area where the bore uh, breaks is usually towards the bottom because that's where it's thinnest. Uh, the, the grout actually keeps that from happening. Uh, you know, we've lost a couple of them in the 1,000 horsepower range uh, to those cracks. And after we started doing this, it's been over four years of running this setup without any cracks. So, you know, obviously it works very, very well. Um, if you have a 24U block like these, we still do it. Um, obviously with these, it's very difficult to get them to crack here because the, the casting is a little, a little bit different. Uh, but, you know, uh, this, this uh, approach to building the engines um, gives you turns pretty much every engine into a thousand horsepower ready block. Um, the cost of this is very inexpensive. Uh, most machine shops can do it. Uh, you know, it, it takes a day. They just fill it before they do a machine work. Uh, if you want to get technical, you can put a torque plate on it, let it wait 20, you know, wait 24 hours, and then you just simply do your machining from there. Um, the negative drawbacks to this are virtually none. Um, we have seen slightly higher oil temps, very slightly, and mind you, we're, we're testing these cars here in Florida. Uh, you know, in the middle of summer with the AC on. Um, and then obviously you do increase a little bit of weight to the engine, so you have to keep that in mind. But if that bothers you, then you probably, this, <laughs> you wouldn't be running an iron block anyways. So that doesn't apply to most, uh, unless you're doing some pretty competitive racing. Um, yeah, those are the drawbacks. There aren't very many, um, but the positives is you get rid of all those cracks I just mentioned, um, and you pretty much turn any block into a high horsepower ready uh, piece of iron. Okay, so this is the visual from the top. This is, you can see the fill line of the grout, uh, and it's completely surrounding the bore. Okay, well, just to summarize everything, um, the blocks crack, the solution we found to it is the half fill. Um, it takes care of every crack that we've noticed um, while giving you a dramatically stronger block that's easy to machine, has virtually no negative drawbacks. Um, there's really uh, mostly positive from this, um, virtually no negative. So it's something we do here in-house to everything, um, and you know we're happy to share the information with the world so you guys can have strong RVs like us. And, and final note that just occurred to me, we did not invent this, just in case anyone thinks that, um, or is out there going like, these guys are idiots, they, they, they've been doing this for years. This is not a new thing. This has been used in race engines for many, many years. Um, this, is, this was done in Australia for many, many years with the RB, that's where we got the idea from. Uh, it was a recommendation for, by, by one of the shops down there that has you know, big horsepower RBs, um, and even some of the guys here in the States that used to run RBs in race cars, and don't want more because you know, they're, they're RBs, but, um, they were doing the same thing in order to keep it together back in the day. So uh, not a new idea, just a good idea.